What's good, YouTube? Crown Jewel, Crown Jewel Boxing, back with a gem. Well, once again, the never-ending saga between Devin the Dream Haney and King Rai Ryan Garcia um, doesn't seem to stop. In fact, it's actually growing, and you know the circumstances around it are making people look into other fights, namely. Um, Devin Haney versus Regis Progre. That's why you got to be really, really careful when you start wanting to go to the rule books on people and enforce like rules and standards, especially when you have not been a stickler of the rules yourself, even though you profess you are or you have been. But um, this is blowing up. Um, everybody's been talking about Devin coming in 25 pounds over against Regis. And, you know, some people have tried to deny it. Well, you can't deny it no more. Um, I was hearing that the California State Athletic Commission was the one that produced the evidence, and now it's been verified. I was watching um, Punch Drunk Boxing. Um, he had a very good video. Y'all should go check it out. Um, where they had um, an executive commissioner for the California State Athletic Commission. I forget his name, but Adam somebody. But he actually came out and said... Um, Devin came in, they had the paperwork showing Devin came in over 25 pounds over 18%. And he said um, that was against the rules. Um, he talked about what I've said before about doctors, fight doctors saying that that's unhealthy. And he also cl uh, classified it as cheating. So I don't know about, you know, how y'all took that. But once he said that, um, that, you know, Devin had cheated in that fight. And Regis, you know, has a loss on his record as a result of that fight. What's to say? Who's to say Regis won't file a petition with the California State Athletic Commission now to have his loss to Devin Haney changed to no contest? And if we're going to be sticklers for the rules, like I said, I'm not against. If Ryan, you know, if they can prove, which they, you know, are on their way to doing that Ryan cheated, then I have no problem with, you know, that loss being turned to a no contest. But what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So maybe Regis Progray versus Devin Haney needs to be a no contest at this point. I don't know. It remains to be seen. But, you know, that, I, to my opinion, legally, um, that was big for one of the executive um, commissioners for the uh, California State Athletic Commission to come out and say that. Because to me, that validates Regis having a legitimate argument. It's not like it just came from somebody with an opinion. This came from an official, a governing official over athletic events in California. And he basically came out and it, then basically he came out and admitted that Regis was cheated on that night with regards to their rules. So I think he has a case now. So again, you know, you, you got to be careful when you start looking for wins in the rule books because you might end up getting a couple L's because of the rule books. But, I mean, it's a big boy sport. You know what I mean? Everybody makes their bed. They got to lay in it. That's all I got for y'all right now. Until next time, keep your hands up, your chin down, your ass off the floor. Peace.